Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga and Happy New Year. This is the first actual like uploaded video that I've done for 2021 and I think this is a very fitting video because it is, as the title says, a manga shelf tour. Yay! <laughs> the, the whole thing behind this channel is me sharing what I like to read, what I'm currently reading, what I don't like, all that stuff, and then in hopes of like conversing with people who also like manga in general and then we can talk about the things that we like and don't like and if we have different interests um, it's cool you know and I think that one of the best ways to get recommendations is to watch someone's um, shelf tour there are some people like Laura from Manga Hoarder who has a huge collection and she, with her sister she and her sister their collection is mind, it's like a literal library. Um, and I'm pretty sure they read a huge chunk of what they own. It's amazing, I stan. Um, so like, just people like that are great um, resources for recommendations if you're looking. I had to begrudgingly buy another bookshelf <laughs> because uh, my collection just keeps growing despite the fact that I, I am notorious for getting rid of stuff. It just keeps growing. Keeps it just keeps keeps growing. Cue the clip, okay? <laughs> okay, so as I'm panning up, you can see this is this is one of my shelves. Two, three, three of my shelves that I've put together as one. Um, those little boxes on the side, ignore those. That's manga that I'm not gonna keep. But up here first, it looks like I'm showing y'all my Moto Hagio collection. I have The Heart of Thomas, Otherworld Barbara, The Poe Clan, Volume 1, waiting excitedly for Volume 2. And then here I have uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth, the Collector's Edition, the Chobits Collector's Edition, the Clover Collector's Edition, <laughs> the, the Card Captor Sakura. Uh, collector's edition. I am a Clamp fan despite not actually loving all of their works. I just, I love their art. Um, here I have Ryoko Ikeda's works, um, Claudine and the Rose of Versailles, which mm, so good, so good. And down here I have my Fumi Yoshinaga section, Antique Bakery, Flower of Life, The Moon and the Sandals, uh, The Antique Bakery, Dojinshi, and I think I'm showing you here in a second that um, I do have my books, some of them double stacked. So I do have the full series of all of these. It just may not look at, like that at first glance. But oh, and then I'm also showing you because the font on the spine is wonky. It says Garden Dreams. And yeah, like I have all of Fumi, Fumi Yoshinaga's works in English currently that I know of. So. There's that, and yes, I do own Oku, but it's on a different shelf, so just stay tuned for that. Over here, more clamp stuff, Tokyo Babylon, X, and um, Man of Many Faces, Dukleon, Angelic Lair, Clamp School Detectives, Legend of Chun Hyung, the one I love, Miyuki, Miyuki what is it, Miyuki-chan in Wonderland? I don't like that one. Legal Drug, Kobato, Gate 7, which I didn't like, <laughs> Rig Veda, Tsubasa, the, the sequel to Tsubasa. Uh, just, y'all can see what these are. Here's another, Tsubasa was a mess, TBH. Again, I stand Clamp's art, but I don't necessarily recommend all of their <laughs> stories. Um, Wish is great. I liked Wish. Anyways, Paradise Kiss, Girls Last Tour is a favorite. I have a video on that one. Complex Age, I also love. 10 Count is problematic, but I love it. Our Dreams at Dusk, wonderful. Pre-tier, classic, wonderful. Um, Eternal, Eternal Sabbath, so good. S Supply, After Hours. Beauty Pop is a really cute shoujo. Um, like rom-com series, all the Erika Sakurazawa se like series or stories that we have in English. Goodness, I mean, <sighs> these are all great. Happy Mania is one of my favorite series. It's such a mess, I love it. Chibi Vampire, I have not actually read. I loved the anime back in the day. Uh, 
Oh My Sweet Alien is great. Princess Jellyfish, we all know that one. Tokyo Tarareba Girls, we know that one. Akiko Higashimura is a queen. Fruits Basket, everyone knows that one. And Tsubasa, Those with Wings, I don't really hear people talking about that because uh, it's old. Oh, run High School Host Club, Behind the Scenes, which I actually DNF'd, but uh, I still have it. <laughs> Millennium Snow, Earthian is one that I want to reread and talk about later. Um, Arakawa Under the Bridge is so good. And then all the Blood Plus stuff, you know, Blood Plus is great. I'm definitely a fan. I think I was looking to see if I could find a title, but uh, didn't. <laughs> Over here, I have Ron and the Gray World, which ended up being great. Silver Spoon, which I'm still reading through it, and I love it. Uh, my Brother's Husband, Everyone's Getting Married is one of my favorite Jose romances. Giant Spider and Me, oh gosh, there's just so many. I'm not gonna read all of them, you can see them. They're, these are all great. Liquor and Cigarettes is one of my favorite BLs. Um, Here's some, yeah, just look at it, just look at it. I have a lot of stuff on here, okay? A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff that, yeah, I do recommend, you know? Um, I have not read Opus yet, though. I recently bought that one. And um, I will say that My Broken Mariko is so sad and so wonderful. I loved it. Stupid Love Comedy, very cute. These that I'm showing right now, I have not read these. They are Yuri. Um, my friend Lythus had said that these were on sale on a website, and I was like, I'm going to buy it because it's Yuri. I have not read them yet. Um, he was like, these are important. <laughs> you should have them. And I was like, okay. I don't think he said it exactly like that, but whatever. Uh, Madoka, Magica, Eclair, all of those. Um, a bunch of Junji Ito titles. Not all of them, but quite a few. I've only read Tomie and Uzumaki. And then there's my hentai. Love it. Love to see it. <laughs> Down here, I have Yon of the Dawn. I recently read and caught up with that. Loved it. Um, Natsume's Book of Friends. Mood Cielago, which is one of my favorite series as well. I mean, all of these are great. I love all of these. What Did You Eat Yesterday by Fumi Yoshinaga. Um, and that was the doujin new game <sighs> a bride story wonderful still reading through that one hakume and mikochi another one that i love and need to catch up on flying witch i also want to reread from the beginning and catch up on that one so i'm getting up i'm walking you can see into my living room don't like that up here i have city it's a cute series i need to catch up on it okay Beast Stars, y'all can see that I don't have, I'm missing some volumes, it's so whatever. Zombie Loan, that's actually a complete series, but I don't have all of them. Here I have Twittering Birds Never Fly, partially in English, partially in Espanol, okay? Yotsuba, which is, or Yotsubato, which is, I think, ongoing. Uh, card Captor Sakura Clear Card. Hina Matsuri, Vampire Night Memories. Oh, made in, in Our Savage Season, or Your Savage Season. I think that one's finished. I don't have all of them yet, obviously. Just, I mean, again, I don't feel like I need to talk through all of this. Wotakoi, everyone knows about that one. It's great. Uh, yeah, just a lot of, all of these titles, ignore that dirty spot. I need to clean that. Just, yeah, a lot of these I have talked about on my channel they have dedicated videos or they are part of um the sit down and read your manga series that i was doing last year so really what i recommend is that if you are interested in any of these series um look on my channel and see what i have to say about them here's my favorite series uh holic by clamp Love it. It's so good. They're, it's their best series. And then, of course, Oku, which is my other favorite series. It's great. It's by Fumi Yoshinaga. And I did remember that I forgot one that I'm currently reading, and that is Scarlet. I have the first volume physically, the second volume digitally, and I do plan to do a digital version of this soon, in the, in the very near future. 
So that is what is on my physical shelves currently. And you know, like I said, if you really want recommendations, this is this is a great way to to do it. You know, feel free to pause as we're going through. I know it's a lot, but um you know, it's there if I have the time and the energy, I might might maybe I might go through and list everything in the description box. But don't hold me to that, because listen. But yeah, um, if you want to keep up with what I'm currently reading, definitely follow me on Twitter at Mama Loves Manga. If you want just random shenanigans, follow me on Instagram at Mama Loves Manga. And if you're into BL slash Yaoi, definitely check out the podcast I co-host with my friend Amanda, aka Aichi Yume, our our podcast is called The Yaoi Shelf. And if you're into GL slash Yuri, definitely check out the podcast that I co-host with my friend Lythus. It's called The Yuri Cast, and we don't have a separate channel for it. We just alternate between each other's channels. I do have a playlist. Check that out. And one more thing, if you would like to hear me talk specifically about very, very smutty, dirty things. You can watch my Thirsty Thursday videos. I have my solo Thirsty Thursday videos and I have a playlist for that. And I also do a really cool monthly book club thing with some of my friends and I will have their information in the description box for sure. Uh, it's the it's the Thirsty Thursday book club and every month we read something and we get on live and we talk about it and it's a blast. So yeah. I mean, I'm doing stuff, okay? I'll hear. <laughs> anyway, sit down and read your manga, okay? Bye! <laughs>